Yo, what's up everyone? So one really cool thing about PUBG New State compared to the PC version and the current mobile version that's out is the weapons. Weapons are the same. You have your Tommy gun, you have your AK and stuff. The weapons are the same, but the big difference is some weapons can be customized. And the coolest thing is some weapons, when you customize them, you could put a grip on them. For example, the AK, you could put a angle grip on it or a vertical grip or whatever grip you want to use if you do a custom upgrade on it. And then the coolest thing is some weapons, when you custom upgrade it, you can even put a scope on it. So think about the Tommy gun or even the BSS. You could put an 8X on the VSS. Now how the custom upgrades work, I have the Tommy gun in hand right now. In the game, if you pick up the Tommy gun, you see the Tommy gun has a custom button on it and the UMP does not. So some guns can only be custom upgraded and the custom upgrade, there's only one custom upgrade for it. So it's not like you have to choose how you wanna upgrade it. It's just that, hey, this weapon could be custom upgraded. Do you want to do it? And there's only one certain upgrade that is there for that gun. Now the custom upgrades are different for each weapon, meaning the AK, for example, has a different custom upgrade than the Tommy gun custom upgrade. There's only one certain upgrade for each type of those guns. And some guns don't have custom upgrade at all. For example, the UMP, there is no custom upgrade option. And another quick rundown on how to do these custom upgrades is when you're playing the game, there's these custom kits. This one in the training room is a custom kit all. It can upgrade any weapon that's able to be custom upgraded, but some custom kits are SMG only or some weapon, some custom kits are AR only. So some kits don't work on some weapons, but the custom kit all can work on all the weapons. So that's a quick general introduction of what custom kits are. And for the next section of the video, we're going to try and custom kit all the weapons and I'm going to show you what they all do. All right, so let's get started. Let's try and bang out, bang these out as fast as possible. Let's start with the leftmost section of the training room. Oh, can it be customed? No. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop that. Pistols, can they be customed? Doesn't look like it. No, okay. Next section, we have the SMGs, the 45 SMGs, UMP, Tommy gun. Tommy gun, only the Tommy gun could be upgraded. So let's click the custom upgrade button. Let's see what it does. Increase damage. Increase damage drop off distance, meaning when you shoot targets that are further away, your damage will decrease less. Because if you use an SMG long range, your bullets won't do as much damage. But with this upgrade, maybe it'll keep the same amount of damage it does when you're closer. And the coolest upgrade for this one is can use upper rail slot. What that means is if you take a look, there's a scope highlighted now, meaning you could put a scope on the Tommy gun. And now with the custom upgrades, sometimes they have drawbacks. This one being recoil control. This is gonna have increased increased recoil now. So I have my custom kits. We're going to hit customize and boom, it's customized. And now with this one, you can put a 6X on it. You can't put an 8X because 8X is only for DMRs and snipers, but check this out. Tommy gun, I could scope in and I'm scoping in with a freaking 6X. Of course, there's a lot of recoil when you're using a 6X. So that's the Tommy gun and the UMP. Let's go ahead and drop those. Up next, we have the nine mil section of SMGs. Let's try the VSS and the Bison. Both of these are customizable. Let's hit custom on VSS. Scope slot available in stable recoil motion, meaning you will get less recoil and scope slot available. You can put a scope on the VSS now. It doesn't, you don't have to use the standard scope. Let's see, we can even put the special scope of Viper scope, which is like a new red dot. I have a red dot now on the VSS. Look at that. And sometimes these customized things, it'll customize and put on an attachment that you can't take off. So for example, the VSS, it adds this little grip thing onto it that you can't take off. And what it does is it decreases your recoil or you have better recoil control. So that's the VSS. And of course we got to put on the 8X on it. Take a look at this VSS 8X. Nice. Next we have the Bison. Let's see what the Bison does. Increase damage, increase damage drop off distance. Just like the Tommy gun, you'll do more damage at further distances or the damage drop off will be less at further damage distances and there's more recoil. So Bison, I custom upgraded it and it'll give you a suppressor when you custom upgrade it. Now this weapon, you know, it's gonna work the same still, but now you have, oh, and once you upgrade it, okay, there we go. You can see increased damage, right? So 
that's uh, the Bison VSS. Up next, we have the Vector and the Uzi. These both are all customizable too. Let's look at this. The Vector, damage drop off distance. Okay, and that's it. There's nothing special, but it'll also give you a barrel. It looks like it'll give you a silencer. Let's go ahead and hit customize and doesn't seem like it's it doesn't sound like a silencer okay there we go yeah it doesn't uh, show a silencer on it oh yeah it does but now you can't attach any other muzzle to it so that's the vss the main thing is the damage drop off distance is better let's hit customize on micro uzi okay this one's got more a uh, vertical recoil control and notice how it has two arrows that means it gives you better v vertical recoil control by a lot Horizontal recoil control is also improved, but it's only got one air. And recoil and recovery is also increased. Hit customize on it, and let's switch to the Uzi now. Yeah, feels really good. And for this one, I'll actually show you guys the difference in recoil. Let's see what the difference is. So this is the recoil. I'm not gonna try and control it. I'm just gonna let it spray full. Okay, it goes up to about that high. Now let's scope in with the customized. I'm not going to control the recoil. Let's see the difference. It's a little bit less recoil. So there is definitely a difference. Let's move on to the shotguns. The double pump, uh, you can't customize. But the this one, the S1, the S1897, you can. Uh, let's see what it does. Shotgun pellet spread tightness. I think that just means your shotgun uh, shells, the bloom on your gun is less. Let's go ahead and see the difference. Let's line up here real quick. Shotgun uncustomized. Okay. Shotgun customized. Yeah, I think I noticed the difference really. Let's stand further away. Should be better to tell. This is uncustomized. Notice where the bullets are landing. This is customized. Yeah, definitely a little bit tighter. It's the DBS and the S12K. Okay, so DBS you can't customize, but you can customize the S12K. I'm gonna pick more of these custom kits up. Let's go ahead and click on it. Shotgun pellet spread tightness increased by a lot. Um, damage drop off distance, you know, that's increased. Oh, you get, you do less damage though, if you uh, use this custom kit. An open stock slot. So I think this one means I can now put a grip on it. Oh yeah, oh, I could put a tack stock on the weapon now. So that's the difference there. Pretty cool. Okay, let's keep moving on. Let's go next to, okay, our A, uh, our seven, six weapons. Let's do the barrel and the AK. The barrel could be customized, increased damage and more recoil. That's pretty much it. AKM, you could put a, a grip on it and that's pretty dope. Because if you put a grip on the AK, let me go ahead and show you guys how OP it is. We're going to slap a 3X on it real quick for you guys. So AK, 3X spray with a grip. It's a straight laser when you upgrade this and you put a grip on it. Insane. So the AK, by the way, is also one of the best weapons in this game. It's way better and has way less recoil than the other counterparts on PC and the PUBG Mobile version game that's out now. Groza and the Mutant. Oh, this one's really cool because check this out. The Mutant can auto fire. So the Mutant is usually a burst weapon, but with the custom kit, it goes full auto, which is pretty cool. So it changes the way the gun works completely. The M24 and the Car 98. Can we customize these? So these you can't customize. MK14 and the SLR. You can only customize the SLR. Let's check it. Increased damage and you get more recoil. Okay. What about the SKS? SKS, not customizable. All right. We're almost done actually. Now we're on to the 5.6 weapon. The SCAR and the counterpart, the M4, right? Let's look at these two. M4 you can't customize, but you can already put a lot of stuff on it. Customize the SCAR. So this one's cool. When you customize this, it gives you a magazine. So you can't put an extended mag or anything on it now, but this magazine improves your vertical recoil control and improves your horizontal recoil control and magazine capacity. Check this out. It's got 30 in the clip, right? Extended mag gives it to 40. This special customized kit, 50 bullet magazine in the scar. It almost becomes like a M249, wild. All right, 
Let's look at the next few weapons. And what, even though I had that magazine, once I drop it, that magazine stays on the gun. You can't put that magazine on any other weapon. Now let's go to, for the AUG and the M16. Not customizable. Okay, what about the M249? Ooh, M249, you can customize. Let's click it. What does this do? Soft pouch magazine. Increase magazine capacity? It's already at 75. Let's customize it. What is this gonna do? I think it's gonna go up to like 100. It goes up to 150. Oh, dude, that is like insane for just lasering cars. Like suppressive fire. Let's fire the whole entire mag. And what's really cool as I'm firing this is there's no recoil. Maybe it's because I'm prone. I'm pretty sure it's because I'm prone. I didn't even know that was a thing. Going prone with this gun gives zero recoil. Okay, crouched, recoil. I go prone. I'm going to have no gyro. I'm not going to use any gyro, okay? I'm just going to click the shoot button. I'm prone with it. What's funny is that it actually naturally drags down. Okay, that, that's just how the gun works, honestly. Like, it's not even the custom kit. The custom kit just gives it 150 mag. Okay, last but not least, let's check out the mini. Mini, not customizable. Oh, the DP, I forgot about the DP. Okay, DP is not customizable. Yeah, I think that's really cool. You know, they don't add any new weapons necessarily into the game, but these custom kits really change things up. And like the VSS with an 8X, that's really dope. So custom kits, they're the way to go. Make sure you look for them. You can also buy them with your drone shop. Right here, the drone shop doesn't work in the training room, but I believe it costs 500 uh, bucks. If you find 500 bucks, buy the kit, it'll drop in, and then you can customize your weapon of your choosing. And yeah, that does it for this video. Make sure you like and, like and subscribe for more videos like this on not just New State, but I'm going to be doing PUBG Mobile ones just as well. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, and thank you guys very much, and see you next time.